Okay, today I'm going to show you how to or how to activate the service diagnostic mode for a Whirlpool Duet front load washer WF-W94HEX. This is a front load machine. I'm going to show you how to activate the service diagnostic mode, uh, what to expect and some of the different uh, tests you can run, and then how to exit out of it as well. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the machine is plugged in, okay, and that you're in standby mode. Standby mode means that there is nothing lit up, the machine's plugged in, but the machine is just blank, okay? The, uter the user interface is, is completely blank, nothing's lit up, like so, all right? So uh, you want to make sure that, you're, that it's blank there, and what you're going to do is you're going to hit these three buttons, temperature, spin speed, and soil level in a series three times okay so it could be any order but we're going to stick with one order and repeat that order three times so here it goes and this has to be done within eight seconds okay so one two three one two three one two three and you'll notice that uh, everything lights up that means that you've activated the service diagnostic mode so you're in okay so next if you have any error codes they'd be displayed here okay uh, like I said, I deleted mine, so I don't have any error codes at the moment. Uh, but those are uh, uh, that's where it would be uh, where it would display. Okay. Now the first test that we're going to do is uh, activating the user interface test. And when we do this test, it's going to light everything up, and it's going to give us the opportunity to test to make sure that all the input buttons are working. So we're going to hit this. We're going to see everything lights up. And now we could go through all the buttons. Yes, this works. Power stop. Pause button works. The knob works. The setting buttons work. And then... So that all works, okay? And then to exit out of that test, just hit the power button and you'll hear that, okay? So, okay, so that's, uh, hit the power button, now we're out. So now we could, you know, hit everything and nothing will work, right? Until you hit the power button to start it. Okay, so the next one, we're going to do the, uh, displaying the, uh, software version, okay? So again, we're going to run the series again three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Go ahead and let it kind of turn to that mode and then hit the start button and there you go that's the software version I guess all right and then exit out of that hidden that okay and then this one gets me a little hung up still I'm still trying to figure this one out but this one is to display the next error code I know how to get into it I just don't know how to exit out of it easily okay so what i normally do is i just enter into the first test and then exit out that way so i'll show you uh so here we go we're going to do these same buttons again and this time no I'll just do the same buttons one uh same order once again here it goes one two three one two three one two three okay so here you go it's entering into the service diagnostic mode and now we're going to do the um displaying the error codes okay so there are no error codes and what it would do is you'd be able to see the different error codes if you wanted to scroll through them okay so that's that's that now I'm just this is the tough part normally it's just hitting the power button I'm not entirely sure how it to get out of this particular test so what I just do is just this and just go through all of them again just kind of exit out of it by hitting the power button all right so that's how to activate the service diagnostic mode uh, and uh, see the error codes that are there and run a couple different little tests and to see the um, the additional error codes and clear the error codes and uh, so on so all right again standby mode hit these three buttons in series three separate times one two three one, two, three. 
one, two, three, all within eight seconds. All right, and then your error code would be there, and um, or your error codes would be there, okay? And then you hit this to display the next one, uh, and then you hit it again, it'll show it that way. All right. All right, there you go. Have any questions, just go ahead and uh, post them below. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and do whatever else, you know, if you want to subscribe. You know, I'll have some videos here and there for any of this stuff, right? Uh, good luck.